This is a video addressing a critical safety issue that I have seen with regards to directly connecting the output of a typical off-grid inverter directly into a residential electrical system. This is a really rough representation of the output section of a uh, typical uh, modified square wave type inverter just uh, the 140 volt supply coming from the potential converter going to a MOSFET H bridge the gate drive circuitry of which has been left out because it is of no importance to this demonstration note that the ground or neutral side of the 140 volt supply is almost always for ease of things like uh, potential um, metrology um, and whatnot for the uh, for the output of the potential converter is virtually always connected to ground and is connected in common with the 12 volt neutral supplying the inverter or 24 volts or whatever the operating potential of the inverter is. There are rare exceptions where the output is isolated and the neutral is connected in common with the uh, input ground but those are fairly rare. Virtually every inverter that I've seen uses this topology. The thing about this is that this means that the neutral isn't really a neutral that you can see that sometimes whenever these two MOSFETs are conducting it is at effectively ground potential minus the minuscule potential drop across the MOSFET however for the other portion of the waveform when these two MOSFETs are firing or are conducting the neutral is at 140 volts minus whatever the losses are usually it's 140 volts it could be as much as 150 volts depending on the inverter again not of importance it's still well in excess of the dielectric breakdown potential of human skin and could kill you as a result the thing about a typical residential breaker panel this is of course a very simplistic 120 volt example is that the neutrals are always tied to ground which is why I've drawn the grounds in red just to emphasize this and that my green marker is effectively flat because again trying this piece of crap but anyways this means that by directly tying the output of an inverter into a um, residential uh, breaker panel again the neutral of which is at ground potential or should be if it isn't there's some very severe wiring problems that desperately need to be addressed if these two grounds are electrically connected then it means that you're going to burn out this MOSFET at minimum because again that's a dead short or if there's any kind of overcurrent limiting circuitry then the inverter will shut down but still not good and you risk damaging the inverter another thing is that if these aren't connected then this means that the 12 volt system ground is at a lethal potential there's a lethal potential difference existing between that ground and the ground of the house so that is a electrocution hazard and is very dangerous and should not ever 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 be done not only that but there's a risk of ganking your inverter if you don't uh, shut off your main breakers and stuff which is why I never recommend this always have a proper transfer switch and in the case of something like this if you do have some circuits that are going to be fed off an inverter. Uh, generally, unless you can happen to find a transfer switch which isolates the neutrals as well, and generally they don't do that for safety reasons, um, it's generally a good idea to just, if you have emergency loads that are going to be running off of an inverter, have dedicated extension cords feeding them. 